Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, and I've had some of the senior crew from Keller Williams up from London here in Grantham for the day, and we decided to do a few videos, so we've already had a chat with Ben Taylor, and we've had a chat with Andrew Ben, but I wanted to get th through to the guys that actually do the work at Keller Williams, and that is the, um, like they, they run a, a hub, uh, hub system, uh, called, and they call themselves market centres, and we've got there's various different roles in those hubs. So I'd like you from yourself, starting first, then you, then you, then you. Uh, just choose a camera and just introduce yourself. What do you do? Which centre you're from? And basically anything else. Off you go. Hi, I'm Darren Fridge. I'm on the market centre director for Weybridge. I'm Ian Cooper. I'm the market centre director for Bromley. I'm Jason Cannon. I'm the uh, operating principal for Bromley. And uh, hi, it's Pratesh Shah, and I'm the OP for the Weybridge Market Centre. Okay, so the Keller Williams model, my understanding is this, is that you, there is a centre, and in that centre there are a number of senior people whose job it is to look after the associates or self-employed agents um, in that. Is that fair, chaps? You've got three people who basically run the market centre, so like a huge estate agency, if you like, the yep. biggest estate agency, and we work for the agents. Okay, so you're not the bosses? No. No, no. they're their own bosses. Okay. We're there as their advisors. So you're kind of, they're the most important and you're underneath them, it's not like we're the bosses looking down. Exactly. Okay. Does Can that I just work? Add, Chris, uh, yeah. the whole... Keller Williams model has been designed by agents for agents, and that's 30 years back when Gary Keller decided he was going to build Keller Williams like he has done. So what is the advantages to being a self-employed agent working, well, you work for them, don't you? Not yeah. the other way yeah. around. Yeah. I mean, are, are you, are any of you are ex-estate agents? I am, yes. So how do, and you? Yeah. You? Yeah. You? I'm not. Oh, that's interesting. We'll come to you in a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, is that a difficult mind shift to, to make? The fact that the the centre bosses are working for their client, their agent clients, the associates, not the other way around. No. Not for me because I've always run my business exactly that, in that way. So I've got a team of people around me, and I don't tell them what to do. We have a conversation about the best way of sorting out a problem. Okay, so how many associates have you got in Bromley then? Ten. Ten. You got ten? Ten. Weybridge? Eight. Eight. And how many could, could you have in that in that, in a hub? hundred. It would get a bit busy, wouldn't it? Uh, they wouldn't all be there at once. <laughs> 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 okay. Although they could be. So we have rooms, we have rooms okay. for them. So what, you, so what exactly do you bring to the party? Uh, what, are you, what are you giving, if I was, a, you know, I'm, I work for a, a, a corporate agent or an independent and just feel that I need more to my life, I need to earn more, make more of a difference. What are you doing for me? Because, I mean, you, I've got to give you £185 a month, haven't I? Yeah. Um, and I've got to give you a percentage of my fee. Mm -hmm. So what what do I get for my money and what percentage have I got to give to you lot? Um, I think that the, the main thing is that support arm. Um, more than anything, if you're looking to go out in business on your own um, within the in, within the world, it's having somebody you can fall back on support on and pick up the phone and actually guide you through. On top of utilising all the training we have within any market centre around the UK okay. as well. Okay, you but, get I, your, but you get your basic stuff, Chris. So if you were coming in and you said, "Well, what do I get for my money?" You get you, you get a right move account, you get a Zupa account, you get a CRM system, you get as much training as you want and you need. You get a productivity coach. You get three people in my market centre who are all agents. So I've been an agent for thirty something years. Um, you obviously started as a child. Justin. I started as a child. <laughs> I started as a twelve-year-old. Yeah. Um, Ian's been an estate agent for many years, yeah. and Claire, who's the market centre manager, has been an agent for twelve years. So you've got that experience to fall back on, and and okay. get support supported by. Give me some stories of, of base. I don't want to know names, but give me some stories of where you've changed someone's life with the help and support you've given them. You first. You're next. Um, in my life in business, or I'm, just in my, as a Keller Williams, a Keller Williams running market centre at Keller Williams. 
we only opened the centre in March. Um, so it would be it would be a remiss of me to say I've changed someone's life. Okay. Um, but in terms of the support and guidance, have you been able to change someone's by by supporting them and guiding them even though that short period of time of no more than six months? Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, um, it's uh, within our market centre. We've got fantastic agents, all in all. Um, one that stands out to me has been last two or three months. Um, I've got four or five listings on for sales, uh, three under offer. Um, but it, that, that's his, and it's they're, they're his baby. What have you the done? What have you What have you done to help him? So with us to support him in that way was guiding him through how to set it up, how to actually go through and create his database. Um, and what he needs to do for, for the outlook and create his own vision from his story and his passion where he's been and where he wants to get to. It's more of what he wants and the goal he wants out of what he's going to do. So actually telling everybody out there what he wants out of life and what he's going to do to change it. For what, but what have you done to, do, to help him with that? We've unlocked that belief in him, Chris. Ah, we're getting somewhere now. We've <laughs> unlocked that belief in him because as a young guy working in, in the corporate environment where his boss is just interested in two things, which is profit and market share, yeah. not interested in him. The conversation when he comes to talk to myself or Ian or Claire or he talks to someone else in, in the team is, what can we do for you? How can you be the best version of you? And how can we get that out? How can we get that out of you? Are you almost coaching him as a person? That's what it almost sounds yeah. like you're doing. Yeah. Because yeah. there is a direct link between coaching and success, isn't there? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the best people in any, any field, whether they're athletes or they're agents, if they have a coach, they've got somebody that can help them, hold them accountable. I think accountable is a big one. Um, and can push them and drive them. And when they, when they have those moments, as they all do, as we all do in life, in business, where you have a crap day or you have it doesn't go right yep. for you, you've got someone going, no, you can do this. Let's just reset. You know, Have your panic moments or your panic day. Reset. Go back to doing what you know you're good at and we'll just get you back on that track. Why did you start a center when you're not even an estate agent? So Chris, I was in consulting for about 22 years, running large scale programs all over the world for big clients like Shell and BP and American Express. And after traveling for, for many years and got a young um, family, I felt time was right for a change. I've been speaking to Ben Taylor, our CEO, for a number of years about his uh, plan and what what he was doing and when he joined Keller and I learned more about Keller I really felt um, a real belief that it was right for me it's strong culture strong values and most importantly it's built around a system and process which has been proven across 37 countries yeah, but that's, of that's, agents. that's 37 countries it's yeah. not going to work in the UK because we're different aren't we but I don't have that limiting belief because I don't come from this agency Do you think it is a well. limiting belief? <laughs> no. <laughs> no the, do you think the British have a limiting de belief? Um, I think they can do. They do. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, for sure. They do. Yeah. But, yeah. But, then, but then we all know we've all got a friend or a mate who's a plumber or who's a carpenter, who's a builder, they're self-employed. Yeah. And then we all envious them on a Friday afternoon when they're down the pub, aren't we? Mm. You know, they've got flexibility. They can come and do it. They can do that if they want to. And if they want to work seven days a week and they want to earn some extra money, they can do the hours, can't they? Of course they can. Well, it's the same with, with what we, we give the agent the opportunity and the belief that they can do that. They can have flexibility. If they want to work really, really hard and they want to work seven days a week, they can. Or they want to work two days a week, they can still earn money and have a business just by working part-time. Or they can work seven days a week. Do you think, do you think UK state agents enjoy their job at the moment? I don't no. think so. Well, we speak to so much, especially myself and Ian, we speak to them every day. Every day. Right, and it's the same thing. It is the same, same answer. What are they saying? Time. What are they saying? They hate the job. Yeah, I think it's more of. <laughs> it's always more and more and more. So it's either a target, or it's an income target, or it's more listings, or it's more market share, and it's that push and push and push, and it's the time. Some, some, some. I spoke to somebody yesterday in, in the office till nine o'clock at night, but not getting anything more out of it. And, and what, why do you think that's the case? Is there an imbalance between the company and the? And the person and the colleague. I think the market is harder now. I think the bosses are still looking for the same numbers to come out the top at the end of the year. 
So the belief is they'll work their people harder, set yeah, higher targets. We spoke to a young guy yesterday, a 23-year-old, and he just said whenever he got closer to the carrot, yeah. the carrot just got bigger Ripped and bigger, away. but it got mm -hmm. taken away from him. Yeah. You know, you can do this, Chris, you can do more, you can do more. And, you know, he's a clever guy. And they're just chipping away at the commission. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down when your profits go up. That's not fair, is it? No. Yeah. So do you genuinely believe it, and I'm not being paid to say this, do this video, I invited the Keller Williams guys up to Grantham just to have a chat and we had a spare hour so we thought put the cameras on. Do you think that's fair? No, no it's not so. Yeah. Well, Chris, we see, we see young estate agents, we see young guys and girls that are really good at their jobs and they're leaving the industry. Yeah. They're not leaving the industry because they're shit at their job. They're leaving the industry because they are whipped where they're working. And they're losing. That, that forces them to lose they're, the they're, passion. They're just for it. losing the love of, of working in an estate agency. And do you genuinely believe working for yourself and earning more money? In fact, I'm selling it to myself. Here, <laughs> <laughs> you can do this. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, yeah. Chris, come and join us. There's an alternative. I'm not saying everyone has to work at Keller Williams. It's yeah. not all about Keller Williams. You know, but. Don't, don't, don't stay doing what you're doing because what you're doing is not going to get you anywhere. Yeah, it's a job, it's a job, but it, life's more important than just a job, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And we're talking to all sorts of people as well, not only agents, but nurses, policemen, everyone. Okay. Anyone that wants to start their own business. And you can property. you can train people even if they're not estate agents. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got a, a very, uh, it's a great training curriculum, well designed, and uh, it works. So where where's the future of, of all this then? What's uh, do you genuinely believe that you, the Keller Williams and the self employed model is going to be taking over Britain's estate agency? Absolutely. I think in the next five years uh, the, the 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 model our model or similar to our model will be probably thirty percent of the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we firmly believe self employed is the answer, whether it's with Keller Williams or someone else, yes. And what makes Keller Williams so different to other models? Now, of course, you can't mention names, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> your EXPs, your Remaxes, and then there's some homegrown stuff, Sean Newman's and your Benjamin Stevens. Uh, they, they've all got their qualities, Chris, but they're all very different. Um, so, you know, EXP, uh, from looking at their promotional videos, I would say that you don't have a, they don't have a hands-on approach. It's all sort of virtual training and a virtual office. We have a physical office where people can come and meet, okay. and they can come and talk, and they can come and you know, learn from each other. That may have its benefits if you don't want to go into an office. I don't know. Um, okay. Sean Newman's got a great business. I like Sean a lot. He's, good. He's a good guy. So we don't need 100% of the market. We're not interested in that. Okay. We're just interested in helping as many people as we can. And, and what's it like being a centre boss? I bet you wish you were out there. Get the hands on the market. Um, I've done it since I was 17. I, I love working in property. I love working with these guys and yeah. helping young, young agents. I mean, so what would you say to anyone? I mean, you guys are both London based. Uh, what would you say to any London estate agent that's not enjoying the job and thinks they need to get more out of the, you know, what would you say? Say one thing to me. Come and have a chat, have an open mind, have a conversation. Whether you do it in a month or a year or two years, have a conversation and get a better understanding of the difference between your high street agent, um, your online agent, and maybe your bespoke agent, which is what we, that's what we teach our agents to be, bespoke agents. Okay. And be informed. You don't know what's out there until you have the conversation. So yeah, come and talk to us. Make an informed decision before you dismiss it. Okay. Come and talk to us. We're all experienced estate agents. That's mm -hmm. why I'm here. Yeah, everyone on this table. Apart from <laughs> <for> it. <laughs> experienced estate agents, yeah, with twenty plus years experience. Mm. So these people are coming into our business, yeah, you know, and we want to help them, nurture them. We want them to be fantastic. Don't only really just talk to us. Talk to any of our agents out there. It's um, you, you will find that feeling of what I love about it as well is. It's like a tribe. If you don't mind me saying, that you all came to that uh, thing at Canary Wharf a few weeks ago, <laughs> and we were like a swarm. You're all together. It's you it. know, like a little tribe. It's, it's a family, and that's what I love about it. Yeah. It's um, it's a family, and it's just it brings out that passion and anybody having that that support and that arm around them. Well, 
that's the that's the end of the video. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming up today. I hope you've enjoyed that. And as I said, I'm not being paid to do this video. Just, I'm very passionate about the self-employed model. I have gone on record to say in the next five, ten years, I believe 30% of agents will be self-employed. And I just thought it was an opportunity to find out a bit more about you guys. I've, we've had a chat with Andrew Ben. That was enlightening. And, and Big Ben as well. We've had a chat with him as well. And um, seriously, seriously, guys, it's hard work out there. It's like walking through treacle. And I think sometimes you've got to enjoy the job. You've got to find the love for it again yeah. and earn what's right for you so you can buy the things in life that you and your family so rich and deserve what's making a difference for your customers. Yeah. And once you've got skin in the game with the support behind you and the guidance, check them out. Other self-employed members are available. And like I said, I've not been paid to do this video. Thank you very much. Can you do it? Plenty of you can tell the bloody stage, can't you? Because I'm trying to sell everything. There you go. Right.